Hello and welcome back folks to this the second of two videos exploring the Paston Way, a 30 km long distance footpath in North Norfolk and it's part of my Norfolk footpath and railway series. You can find a full route map in the first video. It's a beautiful day here in Norfolk as I arrive at Bacton. And we pick up the trail at St Andrew's Church. And I'm going to cut across this field towards the beach and head north along the beach towards Munsley. First sign of the North Sea. You follow the footpath east across open farmland and just to the north and left of the path you'll see the large gas terminal and back to Paston Way then joins the beach at Bacton, where you veer north up towards the village of Munsley. Flanked by the North Sea on the east and the large impressive gas terminal at Bacton on the left, you have to remain on the beach for three to four kilometres before reaching Munsley. I don't know if you can see, but that big white dome that looks like a giant golf ball. That's part of the RAF early warning defense system of RAF Nietzsche's head. At least I know I'm on the right way, the Paston way.
There's lots of legends around this part of Norfolk. The first legend is about Black Shuck, which is a, a demon dog. If you want to know about that one, click on one of my other videos when I went wild camping on the River Burr with my canoe. The other legend is that of the Lantern Men. And finally, there is the legend of the Shrieking Pit. The Shrieking Pit tells the story of a maiden who fell in love with a man in the local village who she shouldn't have. The powers that be ordered her to keep away from him and broken hearted, one evening on a moonlit night, she's said to have gone walking down these lanes close to midnight. She sat by the poolside and whether or not it was the influence of the moon or whether or not she saw somebody, but the local residents heard a shriek. That shriek is said to have woken people. Then there was a second shriek, which drew people to their windows to look outside. And then on the third shriek, the local neighborhood knew that something dreadful had happened. On a full moon, she came wandering down to this pit. Perhaps it was the moonlight on the surface or perhaps it was some kind of demon that drew her into the pit. But from here, she was never seen again. I'm up on the cliff edge at Overstrand. This is the last push to Chroma, and I finished this ride at Chroma Pier. There's a sheer drop to the right, down onto the beach about 100 foot, so you've got to be careful. like the Wizard of Oz, except it's follow the green road. Follow the green brick road. Approaching the Chroma Lighthouse, and if I'm not very much mistaken, it's operating. But I don't know why, because it's such a beautiful day. <laughs> That's it folks, I've made it to Chroma. That was the Paston Way. Hope you enjoyed it. I've now arrived here at the cliffs at uh, Chroma. Just over my shoulder there is the North Sea and I've just gone past Chroma Pier. Hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing to the channel, share and like, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Safe riding. Bye. Thanks for watching.